What's good? What's good? What's good? Looking sharp, all right? Actually, need a haircut. What? <clears throat> mm -mm -mm. Now I have a few announcements. A few Wall Street Academy announcements, and and yeah, I, that kind of stuff. Grand Horizon Quillen. Appreciate that, Kimmy. Appreciate that. Morning, morning, everyone. Wake up, wake up. The gold father is in, is in the place. I see you, bro. Now, I have a few announcements. Damn, six, 660 on here right now. That's pretty quick. Um, all right, so first things first, right? There's a Wall Street Academy sale um, on August 3rd through the 7th. It was supposed to be like a back to school sale, but I mean, that's not going to happen. Um, so we're still in quarantine pretty much, but um, the code is going to be COVID Uni, like C O V I D U N I. It's like COVID University. I'm saying it kind of like that. And that's going to get you $200 off. So that's supposed to be like, that's supposed to be like a back to school type sale, but. I mean, we're, we're going to make the best of it for, you know, um, next week. So the entire week, next week, $200 off. It's pretty dope. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're stuck inside the house, it's like, why not? You know? Um, hold up, hold up. Yeah, there's a lot of people here from Africa, too. It's crazy. <clears throat> um, What else? What else? What else? I wanted to talk about some of my best weeks, right? As far as like not trading wise and that kind of stuff, like some of my most enjoyable weeks, honestly, has to be weeks that I'm not trading, like that I'm not on the charts. I'm probably missing setups and money and, and everything like that. But I feel like those are my most enjoyable weeks when I'm not on the charts. Who could tell me why? Like, why do you why do you think it's it's um it, it's like in like joyful of of me going through the entire week knowing that I'm missing setups and that kind of shit? Like, why do you think that like you know I actually enjoy those weeks? Yeah, there's a lot of people in here. Stress free. What he said, um, cause charts equals stress, <laughs> clear mind because you're not obsessed, your mind is free, you're not seeking. Yep, um, that's not your job, your passion anymore. anymore. That's your job, not your passion anymore. No, 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 I wouldn't say that. Trading is definitely a passion, that's why I taught for so long, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I taught probably a hundred plus classes, something like that. Um, so the passion is there, you know what I'm saying? But you don't want it to feel like a job. That's why you're not on the charts. You know what I'm saying? But when you're on the charts, it feels like a job. Like you have to be there. You have to nah. but it's like it being your passion. Um, I feel like you have to kind of like, you know, separate the fact that you don't have to be on it all the time, but when you are like, you actually enjoy it. Like, th like this week right here, I might turn it into a trading week. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm already in, in a couple of trades. Um, and it's already started off good. So as long as that flow is flowing, then I'm trading the entire fucking week. You know what I'm saying? If I have a loss, then I'm, I'm done for the week. I'm, I'm not even going to bother. But it's like um, my best weeks are the weeks that I'm not trading for the main fact that um, I'm not stressing myself out. I'm not trying to force shit. It's not as if I need like I'm craving the, the uh, money or anything like that to even want to force setups and try to look for setups. You know what I'm saying? I try to enjoy all this shit. Like some people think that like, yo, um, what do I do when, like, how, how do I take up my time when I'm not on the chart? I have, I have like a limit on my app. So, um, I, I put like a, like a 30 minute a day limit on my Instagram app. That should never really works out. So, you know what I'm saying? But I'm saying, um, the, the, the best weeks are, are the weeks that I'm not on the charts because I'm spending time doing all this shit. You know what I'm saying? You could have all the other hobbies, go, go outside and enjoy that shit, you know what I'm saying? Versus being on the charts all the fucking day because that shit does get stressful. 
And I feel like when you're obsessed with the charts, you don't really catch anything. You don't really grow too, too much because, um, you're not having like that, that balance, like that life balance. You know what I'm saying? Like that. Okay. You chill, you chill with family friends and then you're back at home grinding. Family friends back at home grinding. You know what I'm saying? It's like a nice balance. So as long as you have that balance, I feel like you definitely, um, are getting that, that room to grow and everything. And yeah, like, like my boy, um, Princeton said, he said, freedom exactly like 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 why are you trading when you're not enjoying the freedom portion of it you know what i'm saying like you gotta actually make the money enjoy the money make the money enjoy the money make the money. you know what i'm saying like you gotta do that back and forth like if you're only just making the money then what's the sense you know what i'm saying like you're not really benefiting from that versus just trading the entire time like how much money do you plan on racking up before you actually enjoy it you know what i'm saying like as you're Making money, you have to enjoy it at the same time because that's why you're doing it, you know? How many trades do you place per day? Remember, I don't count trades. I don't count pips. I don't I don't count that shit. Like, if I, if I catch a move, I catch a move. If, if, you know what I'm saying? Like, if I can hold a move, I can hold a move. But I don't, I personally, at this point in time, I, I don't track my trades. I don't track how much money I make. I don't have a goal for the week. Whatever I make, I make. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm satisfied. I'm not... I'm not trying to, you know, force anything or even keep track of anything or, or anything like that. As you guys go on, you know, trading years and years and years and years, it kind of comes to that point. Like, you don't have a set goal for a day. Like, if you catch only 20, 30 pips a, that day, then that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? It, it's, it's not that on US 30, but I'm saying like, on like a regular currency, like 20, 30 pips. All right, cool. You know what I'm saying? You Be satisfied. But when it comes to a point that you start to try to force stuff or you have like a loss and that's when I feel like you could just take a step back. Like I keep on trading. Like if, if my week starts off with a win, I trade for the rest of the week. You know what I'm saying? But if let's say Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, I have like a, a loss that like a loss of, let's say if I'm trading US 30, I lost like probably let's say 10,000 or 15,000. I'm done for the entire week. I'm not, I'm not going to even bother. Right. But if I have if I have a good win, like thirty five thousand, forty thousand dollars, fifty thousand dollars, um, starting off the week, I'm, that's kind of giving me you know like a a nice start of the entire week. So that that's gonna actually pump me up to actually want to keep on trading. You know what I'm saying? But that's what it is. Like you you never try to force it because if you try to force it, then you fuck up. I try to like to let it flow. You know what I'm saying? But once that flow is messed up in any kind of way, I'm done. <laughs> I, I don't want to even deal with it anymore. You know what I'm saying? Like. The money's cool, but it's like, it's not worth the, I'm um, taking away my peace of mind, you know? Um, how long have you been trading again, Q? Once again, I've been trading since I was like 24. So like now six, like we said like six years, seven years, because, um, I was trading a little bit before that, but I never took it seriously. So I, I started taking it seriously when I was 24. So, um, that's that's what I count, you know what I'm saying? I don't count the, the, um, me just like finding about trading. That was at 20 years old, you know what I'm saying? But, um, I started taking it seriously at 24. So, yeah. And when I say seriously, I mean like every day, like this is it, you know? Do I still take a loss? Of course. If, it's, 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 it's binary. It's either you win or lose. You know what I'm saying? It's not like you only win. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? Options and the, um, the other thing I want to talk about options in life, right? Options in life. I feel like that's like a, a major, major thing. I'm going to put this on my, um, IGTV as well. You know what I'm saying? I feel like a lot of people can, can benefit off of this right here. So, What's the longest I've gone without trading? That's it was probably about two weeks. I think two weeks. I went to I went to Jamaica for that time period, and I mean I just didn't have good internet, so I wasn't gonna risk it. So I was over there for two weeks, didn't trade, but came back fresh though. Honestly, I came back ready. Um, what would I say? Oh yeah, options in life. <clears throat> options in life. And what do you guys think I mean by by that though? What do you think I mean by options in life? F 
funded account or account with your money. I always my own money, everything, man. I, I don't I don't like touching other people's money. I don't like borrowing. I don't like mm -mm, nah. I, I I've never ever um had to borrow money. You know what I'm saying? Like I I just work with what I have. I feel like some people wait, that's another thing. Working working what you working what you have, like um if a person has only let's say five hundred dollars to their name, but but they want to trade on like a fifty thousand dollar level, you know what I'm saying? Like, why not just work with what you have, you know? And, that, and then you could eventually build up to to that bigger amount, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yo, Reek, you are annoying, bro. God, um, yeah, just work with what you have, you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't have to to try to hit those one K days when it's not when it's not your time yet, you know what I'm saying? Like, when I only had a three hundred dollar account, five hundred dollar account, then. Psh, that's what it is, you know what I'm saying? I, I gotta work with it. Um, I'm not trying to force anything that's that's I'm not ready for it, you know what I'm saying? Um no, nah, Reek's an asshole. No, nah, just like <laughs> Um How much did I start with? It's not even how much did I start with. Like I mean like how much did I open up my first account with? Um three hundred dollars. Um That's it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's it. It didn't last long. That account was well. That that account was probably blown in like about a week or a couple of days. But that's what it is. Um, yeah, like I mean, if you have you know opportunities like um, they have FTMO out now. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that helps helps a lot of people. They have um, ways on how a person can can get funded, which is pretty cool. You know what I'm saying? If you have that opportunity, cool. But back when I started trading, that shit was not even an option. So. Um, yeah, we just have to work with what we had, you know what I'm saying? And, and yeah, but if you have the opportunity to even get funded or that kind of shit, all right, fuck it, do it. But me personally, I don't, I don't like stress. I don't like knowing that I'm fucking with somebody else's money. I could fuck up my own money and, and be perfectly fine with that versus fucking up somebody else's money. That's a whole different thing, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, so it's like, that's, that's what it comes down to. Like, what are you comfortable with? Me personally, I'm not comfortable with playing with other money because that, it, it just makes you trade different. You know what I'm saying? It makes you trade different. You're not going to be trading the same compared to knowing that you have your own money. Um, LLC or C Corp. I mean, I, I don't know about a C Corp, but I mean, S Corp. Um, yeah, I have an S Corp. It's better on taxes and that kind of stuff. S Corp versus LLC. It's a limited liability of the company, but at the same time, it doesn't protect you on certain things. Nor does it um save on taxes too much. So I'll I'll say S corp um if it comes to that too. Uh okay. Oh yeah. So another option in life, right? This is this is a big one. You know what I'm saying? So um I I just got a condo in in um in Miami. You know what I'm saying? Why? Right? Why? Because why not? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like why? Like why not? Um, I have my house, obviously. You know what I'm saying. But at the same time, like why not have have options? Like why not have um places in other places? You know what I'm saying? Like places that you could actually just go and and hang out and, and chill and vibe if if you have the opportunity too. Which means that if if you're fucking making money, why not do shit that people that is making money do? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like. Do shit, you know what I'm saying? Like you, you, you gotta actually just, you know, go those other routes compared to what people, you know, are used to. You know what I'm saying? Like only having one house, only having one car. Like what the fuck is that? You know what I'm saying? Like you have, yeah. Like Ryan agrees. You know what I'm saying? Like um, rent it out on Airbnb. I mean, you can do that. That also. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, like um, certain things you have to keep personal. You know what I'm saying? Not to to the public. If it's Airbnb, then you have to clean it out every single time and this and that, this and that. You can't really keep personal shit there. Um, that's another, you know, way that on how you, you on how you go about everything. But it's like this, like Ryan said, city views, you know what I'm saying? You have, I've always been used to the suburbs, 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 suburb, all suburbs, but then why not have an option of, of the city view on whenever, you know, I want to, you know what I'm saying? And even like when it comes to like one car, I can't even imagine imagine myself having one car now. It's like it's just I don't I don't see that as, as a thing. Like I feel like I have to have options. Like every day that I wake up, I have to see like yo, like what car am I, am I gonna drive? You know what I'm saying? I could drive the Tesla, I could drive the Ferrari, I could drive the Lambo, I could drive the M3, I could drive the truck, I could drive um 
Um, did I say the Audi? I don't know. But it's like, you, have, you gotta have options, like, based on where you're going. You know what I'm saying? Like, those, those people that, that traded, uh, that, um, played Grand Theft Auto, you don't fucking go into the dunes in the desert with a fucking, um, a regular car. You know what I'm saying? You hop inside a car that's suitable for that environment. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, you hop inside a big truck because you, you're gonna go on, on truck shit. Um, you gotta have options. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, if, if I'm about to mob out uh, with the boys, you know what I'm saying? Lamborghinis or the Ferrari gang, you know what I'm saying? You got to have options. You know, if I'm going to zip around the town, hop in a Tesla, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's stress-free. Zip, 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 that kind of thing. Um, the Ferrari or Lambo depends on which which one has more gas at times. You know, it depends on um, if I'm going for a long ride or, or a chill ride. Like, if I'm going to an area that I want to fucking, uh, or just be more subtle and, and luxury. You know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta have, have options. Tesla gang or no gang. Ryan, you gotta have a Tesla first to even be saying that. Um, so yeah, you have to have options. And I feel like that's very, very important. I feel like <clears throat> if you only have just, just one, um, I don't know, you gotta spice, spice some shit up over time. You know what I'm saying? You gotta spice it up. Hold on. Uh, I've turned on the big computer. Somebody said that US 30 is flying and I'm up right now. Why do I trade US 30? Why don't don't you trade US 30? Why not? It's called preference, bro. Dude say you, you you look like Pop Smoke. Pop Smoke looks like me. I'm definitely older than Pop Smoke. How do you gas up all your cars by going to the gas tank whenever I'm driving them? I'm not. There we go. But yeah, so it's like options, man. You gotta have options and. Like why? Like why make money when you only have one option? That should, that should make zero sense. Do shit that regular people don't do. That's what it comes down to. That, um, that that's what it comes down to. Like if, like why be regular when you're not? You know what I'm saying? Like like why like why be like everyone else? The goal is to stand out, not not be a part of it, of everything. You know what I'm saying? Not blend in. You know. How do you become profitable? How do you become profitable consistently? How do you get good at a sport? How do you get good at a subject? How how do you get good at, at a school subject? It's the same shit. Don't overthink it, bro. Yeah, so up. Uh, 25, 24,000 US 30. Let's, let's, see, let's see how it plays out. One entries are right down there. All the entries are up there. Eh, kind of sketch, honestly, but let's see how it plays out. I'm not trying to hold this shit for fucking ever. Let's see. So let's just see. I'll be okay with 10, personally. <laughs> I'll be okay with 10, personally. What do I do on, on, on a regular day? Every day is, not, is, every day is like... Um, I don't know. It's a, a freelance. I might go work out in a little bit. Get a car wash. Some shit. I don't know. I got to figure it out. <clears throat> I got to figure it out. I got to... The day just started. I, but my first things first, I came on here to, to read my Wall Street Academy announcements. You know what I'm saying? Just close it at 20 racks. I'm just like... Nah. All right. It's like... I would close it at 20,000, but it's like... The move just started, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, like, I, I really try not to watch the money because at the same time, if you watch the money, then you're gonna close out a lot sooner than expected. And you know what I'm saying? Like, it just started. Like, I know how much I'm willing to lose. 
you know what I'm saying? But this is like 26,000, 27,000, 28,000, um, 29,000. Like it's, it's moving, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah, it's still fresh. Um, um, somebody said, I, I like how you trade and just don't give a damn what people say. I feel like a lot of people are trying to prove to others other people that they can trade good. Yeah, like I, I mean that that's kind of that's kind of whack personally. Like who gives a fuck that you could trade good? Okay, trade good, make your money and live your life. That's how I see it. Um Yeah. How much are how, how much am I willing to lose on this move? It's about um I think it's 17,000. Or twenty thousand, something like that. What makes my trading course different? I don't gotta explain that, bro. <laughs> it's obvious. Um, no idea. Um, um, another part of the announcements I said. Um, the, the online course is the only course that's available until further notice. I, I said that I'm going to be doing like one more in-person class eventually, but I'm not too sure when, you know what I'm saying? Like that's, that's even if I even, I'm, I'm up to it. Um, I like want to come down to it because we might be in quarantine and doing, you know, all the social and stuff for quite a bit. And that's going to affect the classroom because classrooms are normally about like 15 students, 20 students. So I need a huge classroom with social distancing being applied if i did that so um i don't know so the only course that's available like right now is just the online course um and like i said people that's late the the code for next week for 200 dollars off is covid uni c-o-v-i-d u-n-i that's 200 dollars off it's supposed to be a back to school type thing but at the same time like you know we're not going back to school so that's what it is do it at the new warehouse nope my, my new warehouse is not for public it's, it's a private property um it's only going to be for my cars and, and, and all the stuff um yeah no one's really invited to the warehouse except friends and family yeah covid uni so it's uh covid uni 200 dollars off August, what I said? Three through seven. COVID uni. Boom. Pinballs. Love your quotes the other day. If you drive a Ferrari, then no one cares about your... No, 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 no. It wasn't my quote. That was somebody else's quote. <clears throat> um. Yeah, but no, but that, that was a dope quote, though, honestly, because I feel like, I mean, listen, results speak. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to fucking take advice from a person that 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 drives a Honda Civics claiming that they make so and so. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna take advice from a person like that. Nah, but I'll, I'll definitely take advice from a person that that's driving something that I want to drive, or that's living somewhere that I want to live. Simple as that. I'm not gonna take advice from a person that's that has nothing that I want. It makes zero sense. Take take advice from people that have what you want. You know what I'm saying? Simple as that. Re results tell the truth. Exactly. Results speak. If a person's not there, then what kind of value can they give me? I'm good. Like I'd rather wait, but I'm not going to take advice. I'm good. If you don't have what I want or I can't see your vision, I'm not going to do it. I'm good. Men lie, women lie, numbers don't. Simple as that, simple as that. Re re results, period, don't lie, I feel like. You know what I'm saying? When am I training any in Jamaica? None, I already tried once, um, and that didn't really work out too much, so I, I said I'm never going to try it again. Mm-hmm, let's see. Is that account in Bitcoin? Definitely not. 
<laughs> USD, bro. Um, yeah, no, nah, that's what it comes down to with Jamaican banks, the base banks. I mean, I have a I have an NCB account. I have an NCB account in Jamaica, but I mean, they're they're just strict, honestly. So it's like, yeah. What if you're making results, but supercars and houses are not your thing? Then don't then then make it not your thing. Supercars have always been my thing. You know what I'm saying? I told you from me playing at eight nine years old, playing cruising in the USA, and and and, and car people that that's on this live can relate. I feel like right, cruising in the USA. That's a classic, right? Grand, Grand Turismo 1, Grand Turismo 2, Grand Turismo 3, Midnight Club, um, Forza Motorsport 1, Forza Motorsport 2, Forza Motorsport 3, um, Forza Motorsport Horizon 1, Horizon 2, Horizon 3, what else, um, uh, Need for Speed, Need for Speed Most Wanted, you know what I'm saying, like, it, it goes on, you know what I'm saying, and, and, and that's what car guys do, car guys buy cars when the money come in, simple. You know what I'm saying? If you're not into that, then don't be into that. But just make sure that you're fucking funding what you're into. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Mario Kart. That that was a huge one. You know what I'm saying? I learned how to drift there. Um, Toad all day, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, if anybody want to see me in, in Mario Kart, put put your money up. Because I got Toad. And, and yeah. Test Drive. Yeah. Test Drive Unlimited. That was one that I, I, I played for a short amount of time. I think I lost it or some shit, but um, that shit was dope. I never played Grid. The graphics were kind of off to me personally. Um, Grand Theft Auto, you know what I'm saying? It, Grand Theft Auto still counts because you pretty much did everything there that you want to do in, in real life, but just on a video game. You know what I'm saying? Twisted Metal. Oh, God. Twisted Metal. That was a huge one. You know what I'm saying? Like, all those games... Burnout, I, oh yeah, Burnout was definitely one of them too, matter of fact. Um, it didn't last too long though, but I feel like the graphics, not the graphics, but the gameplay, it kind of died out over the years and everything. But um, am I going to get Gran Turismo 7? Nah, like, um, it's, I feel like it's too simulation now um, when I'm trying to actually, you know, modify, 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 swap engines and, and, and all that shit. Um, but Gran Turismo lost me when I couldn't do certain shit to my cars. Honestly. Yeah, so car guys do car guy shit. You know what I'm saying? We we like cars, we buy cars. Um But this but this is the most um ironic thing though. You know what I'm saying? This is this is the most ironic thing. Um People do raw shit in Grand Theft Auto, right? Grand Theft Auto I feel like is the most realist game ever for the main fact that you live like how you live in Grand in Grand in Grand Theft Auto like how you would want to live in real life, but not the whole crime shit, but just like you know what I'm saying, like when you start getting all, all the money up and that kind of shit. You have the houses, you have the cars, you have this, you have that, you have this, you have, you have that, right? But you have to be putting that kind of effort, like how you put inside that game to get all those achievements inside a game in real life. You know what I'm saying? That's what it comes down to. So it's GTA in real in, in real life. That's what it is. The Porsche <clears throat> Tacon Turbo, that shit is sick. Nah, definitely not the crime shit. I'm straight. No, no, no. Nah, nah, nah. But um, yeah, like that's that's pretty much about all the announcements that um I had for today. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna put this on my IGTV also if I could. I think it's a minimum. Actually, I think it's a maximum of what, like 15 minutes. I'm not too sure if this is over it, but. Let's see, let's see. All right, so I'm going to holler at y'all. Peace out, peace out, peace out. But uh, let's monitor these trades. Hopefully, you know what I'm saying? It's it's great. It's at 16000 now, but I'm waiting it out. You know what I'm saying? I'm not watching the money. Just watch the move. All right, so I'm peace out, peace out. Holler at me in my DMs if you need any kind of help with anything or, or any kind of questions based off this live. And yeah, peace out.